everyone. Welcome back. This is Callaway. Uh, we're going to do another review of the next issue of the Aquaman Deep Dives, the Digital First. Um, this is issue four, featuring Aqualad. And let's get into it. So straight straight away, we have to know. Uh, we have to be told that he's that he's get that um, Jackson Hyde is gay. Um, Right off the bat, page one, uh, we have to know that. And um, his, his friend that he has feelings for from high school is setting him up with a dating on a dating site. So, you know, 21st century problems, you know, setting up a dating site to find a partner. Um, so once we get all this out, once we get this out of the way and we... Um, we understand that Jackson's gay and he's struggling and he's got to set up a dating. He's getting his friend to set him up a dating site and his friend doesn't feel that way a boy about him. So his friend, a white man, likes girls and um, Jackson is upset about it. He's down down in the dumps. So we um and we go on and the electrocutioner comes in. And this this issue uh, it's seventeen pages, but it's it's done in two issues for some reason. This issue four, and this whole issue is about this guy executioner coming in. He wants to he wants to hurt Jackson Aqualad to hurt him because he wants to try and get his father out of out of hiding. Um, Black Manta, Black Manta owes electrocutioner money or something like that. I think it was, yeah, he owes him money. And he realizes the easiest way to get Black Manta out of hiding wherever he is is to beat his son up. Beat his son up, and by beating his son up, it will embarrass his father. And embarrassing his father to him, an embarrassment is a great way to get a, get any father's attention. So he plans to beat up Jackson Hyde to to get his father's attention, to get Jackson's father's attention, Black Manta, because he owes electroc electrocutioner money. So they get into the squabble and um, they end up fighting. We get a bit of a flashback here, Jackson Hyde with his mother. Um, there are people in this world who want to hurt you, Jackson. And if you use these powers, they'll find you and they'll try and take you away from me. So we get that's a bit of a flashback. And they're still fighting. And um, Aqualad says, you want to tell everyone that you stalk a teenage boy, picked a fight with him and lost? Oh, sorry guys, I'm getting really bad hay fever. I tried with I tried with you, man. Probably would have been a probably get, would have given you a cut of the money that your dad owed me if you played nice. So he's still he's so they they're basically fighting. Um, we get another flashback scene here of uh, school bullies picking on Jackson Hyde. And this is his friend that was setting up the dating site in the future. He goes over and talks to him and says, back off, guys. He's not bothering anyone. So, you know, we get the school bully storyline there. And um, back to present time, he's still fighting with Electrocutioner. You're screaming. Tell me I'm smart and handsome and special and important. It's a big turn off. I'm not looking for his love. So he's talking about... Uh, the strained relationship between Manta and Jackson Hyde, father and son. So they don't really have a relationship because, you know, Black Manta's a criminal, a pirate, you know, that sort of thing. I'm more than Black Manta's son. And then we get a bit of a story of what he is. He says, I am teen, I'm a teen titan and proud of it. My mum is ten times the person Black Manta could ever be and more powerful. I've proven to other people who had strong opinions about my father and that I'm his son, only in the strictest biological terms. So uh, Arthur, Aquaman. And I've told Black Manta myself. So they finish the fight and um, he says, but you'll make sure he doesn't tell anyone about this, right? I'm sure the part where you paid him for. So he's, he's finished the fight. He's beaten up Electrocutioner. And then Black Manta arrives. So this is basically this was basically a ploy to get Black Manta out because he owes him money. 
and um, Black Manta says, you've let me know you have no interest in living quietly, boy. Someday people will find out you are my son, and when they come after you, I, I just had to make sure that you weren't going to embarrass me. I'll, I'll never embarrass you, Dad. So it's basically, you know, deadbeat dad, storyline, relationship sort of thing. Um, deserted his son, you know. He's a pirate, you know, he's a criminal. That's what Black Panther is. And then, so then, uh, Aqualad uses his powers and breaks the, breaks his helmet and he has to take it off because he's drowning. So, you know, that's the end of that one. And then we go to the next one and he's, he's, uh, he's talking to his mother. He's just having flashbacks, talking to his mother about being a superhero and she does, she's worried about him, you know, you know, normal stuff as a mother would be worried about her son. And, um, and then this is, comicsology is so shit. He ends up, um, going with with his father so in issue two in this second part of the story they want black manta's going after the man that was um dating his his mum so we know black manta's father was killed killed by arthur in the new new reboot new two so then when up when so manta and his before that happened Manta and his father, you know, they ran off, they become pirates, they become criminals, you know, that sort of, you know, that story. We all know that storyline. So by the gist of this story, uh, Manta's mother remarried or then ended up with this guy that you see on screen. You see his name is Oscar. And she made uh, Manta's mother happy because she wanted a life away from her husband as a pirate and Manta as a She didn't want part of that criminal life. So she wasn't part of their lives. So I'm not sure if uh, Manta's dad left his wife or she left him because he was a pirate. It doesn't really say. But um, so he wants, so Manta wants to drag uh, Jackson High along. He wants to kill Oscar because he believes that he took, um, Oscar took, uh, Manta's mother away from him um, but meanwhile she didn't want to be a part of it because he was a pirate and his father was a pirate so Manta blames this guy Oscar for ruining his mother and father's relationship so he comes here to kill Oscar at the at his mother's um, resting place so they go, to, they go to fight and Jackson steps in and says get out of here Oscar and um, and then uh, they end up getting into arguments again. And he says, you abandoned your mother. She could have, ha and then Manta says, she could have had every treasure in the world and she wasn't interested. We all make our choices. Uh, well, I said, you think everything in the world belongs to you, Manta, even your mother's life. You're wrong. And Manta says, you saved Oscar's life. Now you'll have to save your own. And we get the end. So then they get into a fight and that's how it ends. So basically, book, the first part of the story was um, Electrocutioner trying to beat up Aqualad to get uh, Manta's attention. So that was that one. And then the second part of the story was uh, Manta blamed his stepfather, if you want to call him that, Oscar, for um taking his mother away but she just didn't want to be a part of the pirate life and be a part of crime so she wanted to live her own life and black man to be a criminal believes that everybody owes him i guess and as jackson said even your mother's life you don't own your mother's life you know so it was actually two good stories sorry guys if i'm sniffing i've got bad hay fever from the animals and um yeah, it's a really good story. Um, not really a fan of the Aqualad character. I, I like, you know, the, um, Garth. I sort of like him as a legacy sort of character. Jackson Hyde, not so much. But, um, yeah, it is a good story. These these um, these online issues have actually been really quite good. 
I don't know how Kelly Sudaconics managed to stay on the run for so long, but I think she's off now as of August, which is like 64, issue 64 or something, she's been taken off. So um, obviously her sales have just tanked too much and they've got to change it. So, but yeah, these four issues of the digital first have been really good. So if you want to check out the Aquaman, they're only like they're 99 cents in America. They're only $1.50 here in Australia, which is what digital prices should be, not the here in Australia, digital prices are normally still $6 for a digital book. Uh, a normal paper book here is anywhere between seven, $8 and $12. So for $1.50 down here in Australia, 99 cents in the US, they're really good, even though they are only 70 pages. I don't know why they couldn't just make them the standard 22 pages. But uh, they're really good stories, really enjoyed them. Uh, issue 3 was really good with the big serpent monster. And then... Um, uh, issue four with Jackson Hyde flushes out his character a bit and the relationship between him and his estranged father, Black Manta, and the electrocutioner and stuff. Good stories. For a dollar fifty you sort of it's a recommend. It's not you know, you're not wasting your money for just political crap. So uh it's really good and with no comics or anything, so um yeah, it is what it is. Art was really good. Art was quite good, nice, colourful, um, draw gen. And that's about it, guys. Um, if you're not really into Aquaman, you want to get into Aquaman, these are some pretty good books. But if you want to get into Aquaman, I recommend um, Jeff John's New, New 52 reboot was really good. But um, check out the older stuff from Peter David around 1994. That was really good. But... That's it guys, thanks for the video, please like, subscribe, share it, stay tuned for more videos and be sure to check these deep dive books out. Thanks guys.